this question says light is traveling from substance one to substance two. So that's because the arrows are going this way. That's a clue on that. What is the angle of refraction beta, given that the angle of incidence alpha is 25 degrees? Substance one is air with a refractive index of 1.00. And substance two is a glass, with a refractive index of 1.53. Now, uh, we're looking, just checking, what is the angle of refraction beta? Ooh, okay. So uh, let's write out Snell's law. It says the index of refraction of material one times sine alpha. Alpha. Could be a little flatter. There we go. Equals index of refraction in material two times sine of beta. And we can plug everything in. We've got uh, 1.00 for index of refraction of material one. 1.53 here. We know our incidence angle is 25 degrees. And we don't know our uh, angle B. Then we'll have to solve for that. So let's start by turn, getting sine B by itself. That means we divide by N sub D2. And we get that sine theta equals, ooh, sorry. We're dividing by the same thing here, so ND2. Um, we get 1.00 over 1.53 times sine of 25 degrees. Now, on your calculator, make sure that your calculator says DEG for degrees. If it says anything else, this probably won't work. So 25, and now I'm going to hit my sign button. I think that's it, yep. Sign, and I get uh, 0 0.42, that all that. But I'll say 0 0.423 as the sine of 25 degrees. And multiplying that out, we get 1 times 0.423, which is just 0.423, divided by 1.53, and I get 0 0.276, which is sine of beta, which is not what we're looking for. We're looking for beta. And so I have to do uh, on the calculator, see above where it says sine, it says sine to the minus one. That's what we're going to do. So uh, mathematically, if you do sine to the minus one of both sides, and that's not an exponent, so let me rewrite that. Sine minus one of sine theta equals sine minus one of 0 0.276. The sine of the minus one and the sine cancel out, just leaving beta, which means that all we have to do is plug in 0 0.276, and I'll just put in 0 0.276 fresh on my calculator, and then hit shift, and I have my shift key up in the upper left there, uh, sine, and I get 16.02, so I'm going to go with 16.0 degrees. And your answers for this must be closer to zero degrees. You can see that in the picture that angle beta is smaller than angle alpha, as recorded, right? Alpha is bigger than beta. And that's because in this particular example, our index of refraction was bigger in material two. And it can't be smaller because nothing can be smaller than uh, index of refraction one. So uh, those are hopefully indications that we've got the right answer. Those are hints, ballpark estimates. It has to be smaller than our starting 25 degrees Celsius, and it is.